the recommended session is I'm Rob and in today's quick guide we're looking at a filtration setup it's more like a nice thing to have than a neat thing to have uh, do you know the feeling of you coming out to your filtration what we have here we have all our different gases here spread it out and you come out and check out the filters and you can see oh no your filter is empty this is not a good because that means this one can technically not operate if both of them are empty there's no way you can see this on the X device, there's no lamp or anything. So we're gonna fix this. Up here, we have a little slot, a little slot where we can put in an IC chip. We can have two in, in input outputs, and uh, we can use this in controlling this little filter. It's gonna be a universal program that can be used for all of them, so it doesn't matter which one it is. It's simply to stop this one if your tank is full and also to control it in terms of the filter. So, I have a test lamp on all of them, as you can see. I test my pipe, my main pipe, which is this one. Going to the in input and the output, or the waste, I think you call it. And then you have the output or the filter here. That is my color code for, for waste, and then so on, I go into the filter, so green, NOS is the green one, and so on down there. Right, let's take our computer, pop it out here. Let's check if it's empty. Yes, it is. Right, let's hop into it. Now, start off with, we're gonna do the aliases. So we wanna do our alias of the D1 and D, uh, D1 and D, uh, D0, or also the DB. Because on this one, as it's sitting on the fil filter, the DB is the filter. So instead of writing DB, we can just write filter. So alias, filter, DB, DB. The DB is the main slot of the, of the IC chip. Normally it's the housing, but in this case it's the filter. Next one is the alias, um, let's call it light, D0. And last one is alias tank D1. Great. Let's start. Let's put in our start. Start. And our J uh, J start. Oh, okay. So. so we this is where we loop around. So we jump back to start. Now we're gonna do things a little bit different this time because we're gonna do we're gonna jump out of our start program and into some other programs down here to try a new way of handling programs. But before we get to that, let's let's load in our, uh, let's do the filter first. So the, the load slot, we want to do that two times. So load slot R0. We, we're not going to do the whole, you know, uh, naming of the variable visitor here. You can do that if you want to. I personally don't think it's necessary for a small code like this. Node slot db f filter zero quantity mm, quantity now if we can see that on here Let's see filter. Du, 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 du. No, can't not that one. Let me just get my this one up. Can I want to show you? You can find it on the Wikipedia. I know. Uh, no, this is not. Anyway, what I'm trying to find and show you for you. This is slot. Uh, zero, this is slot one, and we are currently reading slot zero into register zero. Then we're gonna do the same thing. Just R one and uh, read uh, slot one. So if any of these quantity, we will read, read both quantity of this, and quantity is the value left on the filter. It's not damage; it's the value. So the usage, I love you, I, I, you can say. Now, we're gonna pop this out, our function, which you get from f function. Now in here you have one little, um, 
uh, function that's pretty nice. So, so register, so and, so register is equal to one if A and B is not zero, otherwise zero. So, yeah, so if any of them becomes zero in quantity, they are zero in usage. Not one, not like half full or something, but zero, empty, dot, dead. Then it will pop up with a register. So you can do another register here, which is and, then the register, which is R2, and then simply R0 and R1. Seems very confusing if you think, but it works. Now, from here, we want to leave our start area. We don't need to, we could do it inside, but let's just try something different. I want to find a code down here, I can show you. There we are. So BQSAL, or however you say, BQZAL, ran to line B if A is equal, and it is true equal, like exactly equal to zero, and store next line number in RA. RA is like an off point basically what we're doing here is raw so what we're doing is we're gonna set a two offset if you can say that so we're gonna like make two separate code areas for the lamp one is called start um, lamp then those ones then set light oh, capital light on one then j r because the number in r will be stored when we do this code and we're going to do the same thing again if we can just no we can't do that stop stop lamp set light on on zero uh, yeah on zero <laughs> and j So here we start. This one start. This one stops. So what's good about this is you don't have to you don't have to think about the line number, but you can think about the actual syntax we use for that area. So with the BQ set AL, BEQ. So we're gonna do a BEQ set AL, and then we're gonna take the R2, and here we get that. Oh, that was the space I thought. This is then gonna start the lamp. Okay, let's just try it out, see if it actually works. Export, pop it in there. It does. And the reason why it does that, because we know this one is empty. Take it out here, it does. Now, we have not fixed it yet. We have not done, so we can stop again. So, let's just do that. Ah. So, the next one we're going to do is the opposite of what we did before. So, if our line is bigger than zero, Sorry. If our line is bigger than zero, we're gonna jump to raw. So it's it's pretty straight, self-explanatory. Whatever that you now tell it to stop the lamp. So start the lamp if this if we R two is zero. I mean start the lamp if R two is above zero. So it's, it's one. Yep. Take that all there. And because that one is bad, that that uh, filter is bad. Let's take this one. Let's pop it on. That will help. So you see here now I have an empty one in my hand. Change yes, lovely. Pop in there and take him out. Also, wonderful. That works fine. Great. That's the first part. So the next thing after we've done our filter is um, if our tank or actually the pipe also around it gets full of gas uh, then we want it to stop sucking in more so we want this one to stop filtering gases we could set up an over pressure valve but then it'll just run continuously and there's like no point of that now if we read from here the pressure in here, 
this one should be able to hold around 60 megapascal. So if we set our let's say a threshold like a maximum for like 50, we are good. Uh, then we can set a start for like something below. Ah, and then we can from there s control this one. And then if this one doesn't run and this pipe, the 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 the, the unfiltered pipe gets overpressed, then we'll have an over overpressure valve out here. That is the idea. Instead of having one of each of these, we can have one central one. Now, to do this, we need to load, we need to read, and we need to load. So let's go in here. So, from our tank, we need to load R3, so a new register, R3, tank, pressure. We need to load in the pressure of the R tank. Now, we need two steps. We need one where we choose, okay, this is the maximum limit, so no more pressure goes in. This is like, okay, now we can start again. And I want you to be up here, because we want... Uh, uh, we, 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 they'll be up here when they come onto the market um, because then you can always just adjust them if you want to. Now, SGT. So, what is SGT? Register equals one if uh, register A is bigger than register B. So, register A will be our R3 and register B. In this case, right now, will be our just our value. Let's see what do we have over here. We don't need the maximum right now. We can say okay, we have we have seven hundred seven hundred sixty four kilopascal. So if we say if we say eight hundred fifty, if we say eight hundred fifty, uh, hold that thought. Let me just turn on my little. Imp yeah, don't look at that one. I don't really need that one. It's just improvised, so I'm sucking in air right now to, to fill up a little bit. Because this is a test facility. So, STT, which is our pressure tank. And then we want, let's say, what does it say, 850? 800? 8, 850. So, 850. That's the, the cutoff point. And again, same thing. We want to do an SLT, which is here. So register if register one is um, if a is smaller than b, then it will go one. Otherwise, it will be zero. So SLT. So and here we do a register. Uh, shoot, that should be four. It's a five. And say what do we do? What do we do? What do we say? We say duh, 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 if I can put it on the right now. What do we do? Eight hundred, seven hundred. 70, yeah, why not? That's a nice time number. 760. Wasn't that 6 I said? I am so... Dizzy. Nope. Far from correct. 770. Wow. That... Now, if these two... If this one comes becomes true, then this one cannot be true. Simple as that. It it, it 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 can't happen. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump to two stages. If if any of them are correct. So here, if if uh, we're gonna balance to line B, if A is bigger than zero, and start in R in, in R. So, B key to C at all. So let's see. We, uh, we do this. We do this one first. So stop filter, and that will be filter. What is it? Filter set because we we not we cannot turn off the filter. Oh, set the smallest. We cannot turn off the filter because then we turn off the IC tip. Change the mode. Change mode. Mode zero. J raw. So this one, we'll be looking at this bad boy, and we'll calling this one. Oh, remember those. Otherwise, it won't work. The next thing, we can do the same thing. So start. Start. 
so it's tough. Those ones. And Sedan. And JR. Now, we now have the stop. We also need to start. Which is the same thing. Kind of. This, this, put it up there. So if this one is 1, which means we are above 850, we'll stop the filter. If this one is 1, which means we're below the 850, and also below 770, then we'll start the filter. <coughs> Great. So, let's have a look here. Export. Wait, 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 wait. Stop that. How much pitch do we have in here? We have, uh, hmm, okay, around. We have some CO2. Yes, we have a quite a good amount of CO2. You look happy. Let's pop you in there. And let's see what happens. Oh. 910, hello. Hydration critical. Oh, go away, line 10. What's wrong with line 10? Du, 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 du. Uh, ah, <laughs> you should of course have these in here. You cannot do a rinse of it out because it's you. Yeah, you need you need three here, obviously. Sorry, my bad. Let's try again. Okay. It's all it up, and there's no more coming in. So if you look in here, the mode is zero. Which is because we are above the threshold. It's, it goes some above. It doesn't stop immediately because you know it's pressure. It's pressure is weird with heat and everything. It builds up and moves around. Uh, but at least if we then now said, okay, let's try different numbers. Oh, no, that's not the one I wanted. I want, let's see. Let's uh, what do we have in here? What do we have in here? We have... Yeah, we do 1.1. 1 .1. So, 1,100. It's 1.1 .1 and we do 2,000 megapascal. No, <laughs> uh, 2 megapascal. To stop it. Export. Uh, let's just prepare this one. around so you can see the mode is the one we're controlling that's the one activating if we're doing gas or not pop that in there now it's running and gas is coming in gas coming out let's have a look over here and now we are at the market target again so it goes a little bit above but at least now we know that if that's full, if that's full, it's on the stop. And we're going to just close it. So this you can use for all your filters. So right now, this is in, <clears throat> what do you call that? Standby. That's off. That's off as well. Off, off, that's off, that's off, that's off. And we're using 10 watt. I would say that's fine. 10 watt is nothing. Um, considering what you could be using. <clears throat> and then you can just put up a overpressure out here. So you have your main tank overpressure here. If any of this gets too close to like the, the threshold, you just rent it out. That is my simple take on it. Uh, from here on, we will be doing closer to something like we're going to have over there. I don't know if you can see what that could be, could be, but that is in the works as well. Uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, uh, please leave a love, thumbs up in the bottom and, and down below. And uh, if you have anything, any wishes, requests, anything, then by all means, leave them in the comments, and I will have them in my list of what I will be doing next. Anyway, take care, guys, and see you next time. Bye.